there, it's Brent Webb back today with strategy number six in our 10 strategies to supercharge your life. Now, Catherine was supposed to be here today. They're having some severe weather in Australia. So Catherine will be back with us tomorrow. So I'm taking the ball today. And again, it's strategy number six. And that strategy is become mentally tough. You know, the first step to becoming mentally tough is by refusing anymore to be a victim. You have to accept 100% responsibility for your actions. It's not your parents' fault. It's not your partner's fault. It's not your boss's fault or the fault of the government. Your relationships, your finances, and your health are all a direct result of what you've thought and done. So right now, it is time to finally own it. There is no way in hell that you can be mentally tough when you're blaming everyone else for your lot in life. And there is nothing more empowering than to accept responsibility for your fate. Stop giving control to everyone else. When we blame someone or something else, we're handing our personal power over to them on a platter. We go weak. We become totally ineffective and are zero fun to be around unless you're in the company of a rescuer. But guess what? Rescue yourself. You have inside you strength to draw on. So use it and amaze yourself by really experiencing who you are and what you're capable of. Now, it's important to remember, a lot of people think you have to be born mentally tough. You don't. It is easy to develop this trait. Every successful person I have ever met, they all use mental toughness to build the foundations of their long-term success. I'm going to tell you, successful people are great at delaying gratification. Successful people are great at withstanding temptation. Successful people are great at overcoming fear in order to do what they need to do. And you know what? It doesn't mean that they're not afraid, but it does mean that they're brave. There's a big difference. Successful people don't just prioritize. They consistently keep doing what they've decided is the most important thing in their life. They don't allow themselves to be pulled off course. They don't allow the outside world to dictate to them what needs to be done. They have an internal set of goals and beliefs, and they stick to that. All the qualities that you need that require mental strength and toughness, it's no coincidence these qualities belong to re remarkably successful people. So today, I'm going to give you a few ways that you can start being mentally stronger right now, and as a result, you can be more successful. Always act as if you're in total control. That's number one. There's a great quote. Pray as if God will take care of all and act as if it's all up to you. It's a cool quote, right? Well, the same premise applies to luck. Many people feel that luck has a lot to do with success and failure. If they succeed, luck favored them. And if they fail, well, luck was against them. Most successful people they do feel good luck played some part in their success, but they don't wait for it or they don't worry about bad luck. They act as if success or failure is totally in their control. If they succeed, they did it. If they fail, they've caused it. They own it either way. By not wasting that energy worrying about what might happen, you can put all your efforts into making things happen. And then, if you get lucky, hey, it's just icing on the cake. You can't control luck, but you can definitely control you. Next, put aside things you have no ability to control. Mental strength is like muscle strength. No one has an unlimited supply. So why waste your power on things you can't control? Some people, it's politics really was for me. Some people, it's family. And for others, it's global warming. Whatever it is, you care. 
and you want other people to care too, that's fine. Do whatever you can do. Vote, lend a listing ear, recycle, reduce your carbon footprint. Do what you can do in your own way. Be your own change, but don't try to make everyone else change. I'll give you a hint, they won't. Next, see the past as valuable training and nothing else. Now the past is valuable if you learn from your mistakes, if you learn from the mistakes of others and then let it go. It's easier said than done, right? It depends on your perspective. When something bad happens to you, see it as an opportunity to learn something you did not know. When another person makes a mistake, don't just learn from it. See it as an opportunity to be kind, forgiving, and understanding. Everything is a lesson. The past is just training. It doesn't define you. Think about what went wrong, but only in terms of how you'll make sure next time you and the people around you will make sure that it goes right and then let it go. Next, celebrate the success of others. Many people, I guarantee you know a few and it may be you, see success as a zero sum game. There's only so much to go around. If someone else shines, then somehow it diminishes your light. Resentment sucks up a massive amount of life force energy. It's so much better to apply that energy elsewhere. When a friend does something awesome, it doesn't preclude you from doing something awesome. In fact, where success is concerned, birds of a feather flock together. So draw your successful friends even closer and take the negative ones, the ones that are constantly undermining your goals, let them move farther away. Don't resent awesomeness. Create and celebrate awesomeness wherever you find it. And in time, you will find more of it in yourself. Next, never allow yourself to whine or complain or criticize. Your words have power, especially the words you say to yourself. Whining about your problems always makes you feel worse, not better. So if something is wrong, don't waste time complaining. Put that mental energy into making the situation better. Unless, of course, you want to whine about it for the rest of your life. But eventually, you're going to have to make it better. I mean, is that the goal? Go through your entire life with it? Why waste time? Fix it now. Don't talk about what's wrong. Talk about how you'll make it right. Even having that conversation with yourself is a win. But do the same thing with your friends, your family. Don't just serve as a shoulder they can cry on. Friends don't let friends whine. Friends help friends make their lives better. Next, focus only on impressing yourself. No one likes you for your clothes or your car, your possessions, your house, your accomplishments. Those are all things. Now, people may like your things, but it doesn't mean that they like you. Sure. Superficially, they may like you, but what superficial is also insubstantial and a relationship not based on substance is not real. It's like having 10,000 Facebook friends and three in real life. And finally, count your blessings. Take a second every night before you go to sleep in that moment between being awake and sleep between the conscious and the subconscious. Quit worrying about what you don't have. Quit worrying about what others have that you don't have. Start thinking about what you do have. You have a lot to be thankful for and you will feel amazing. Try it. Feels unbelievable. Feeling better about yourself is the best way of all to recharge your mental battery and become mentally tough. I want to thank you for joining me today. As always, you guys have been amazing. Uh, invite your friends and family to our Facebook group. It is scrolling down below right there. Facebook.com slash group slash Taylor Webb. We are like-minded people empowering ourselves, empowering each other, being positive and changing ourselves and in turn changing the world. It's a movement and we are so excited about it. So join us down there in our Facebook group. 
Also, you can visit our online home. That's right there. It's taylorweb.org. On that website, you're going to find tons of resources. We have a free resources section loaded with videos and e-reports, blog posts, and files, something that you're definitely going to be able to get some use out of. So go take a look over there. Also, it lists all of, we have our store, lists all of our eBooks and programs. Take a look when you have a chance, taylorweb.org. And don't forget, as we're getting ready on February 1st to gear up for Life 101, Life 101, make 2021 your year. Now, Life 101, Catherine and I put together a program that runs from February to December of this year, little bite-sized chunks of knowledge each and every day that build upon themselves and the lesson before. You can make real, lasting change and start living the life you've always dreamed of living. If you're just existing now, you're not living. If your goals seem distant, like you'll never reach them, now is the time. What are you waiting for? Stop putting off your life. Stop deferring enjoyment. Join us. It's absolutely free for Life 101. There in the Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups, Taylor Webb. Each and every day, we'll have a video for you. We'll have a growth task. We'll tell you exactly what you need to do to get yourself ready. And then the change will be unbelievable. By Christmas of 2021, you'll be a different person. So commit, not to us, but to yourself. Commit to your success. Commit to your happiness. Life is not supposed to be a struggle. Life is not supposed to be constant pain. You're not supposed to have 10 or 20 amazing moments of bliss in your life and the rest just mediocre. You are supposed to live in bliss. You are a spiritual being having a human experience, not a human being having a spiritual experience. If you go on this journey, you will awaken yourself and you will realize there is so much more out there. So join us for Life 101. It's time. Stop spending all your energy making everyone else happy, worrying about everyone else. This is the year to focus on yourself and your goals. Stop putting off your future. It's time to live it now. Life 101. So I want to thank you for joining me today. Catherine will be back tomorrow with our next strategy for you. So like I always say, doesn't matter where you are in the world, doesn't matter what the weather is, today is a beautiful day. It's beautiful because you're in it. It's beautiful because you're alive. It's beautiful because you're here another day to experience the greatness around you and to start awakening the amazing energy inside you. That's what we're all about. And we're so glad you're here with us. So I want to thank you for joining me. I'll see you again very, very soon. Remember, don't worry, be happy and feel good. See you soon.